The Learning Lab in the Middle School has been designed to improve the learning, but specifically uh, with mathematics in mind. If you see the spaces, there's distinctive features in the different areas, so the students can select where they're working based on their particular preference in terms of learning style or the needs of the group depending on the math challenge that they're trying to tackle. So they have greater agency in terms of the decisions that they are making and the teachers are better able to monitor the learning of each one of the students. The Learning Lab, the good thing about it is the different spaces accommodate to different people or different like groups of people. So if you're someone um, who likes to work alone and works better like that, there's a space for you to do that. And if you're a kind of person who likes to learn with others, then there's also a big space for you to do that. And if you kind of like something in the middle, you can also do that. So like, there's lots of variety of how you can learn one thing. Usually we come in, get settled in, and we, uh, the teacher informs us on like what we need to complete by the end of class, and we give a goal. Uh, for what we can improve on. Let's say like you're struggling in like one area of let's say like fractions, like you're not very good at doing something in like the unit, so then you could probably choose like a teacher di uh, directed, which is just like a normal class format. Or if you want, if you're feeling confident, like you know what you're doing, then you can just work by yourself. A self-directed lesson is when um, a teacher pretty much gives you a lesson plan, but you can choose like the order of the tasks if you want to most of the time, and also um, like usually there's some option between um, a higher level and a lower level. We're seeing an increase in student engagement. Students are really beginning to think about what's best for their own learning. And by allowing them choice in how they learn and where they learn, they're taking ownership. And as a result, they're more invested. Sometimes when you're in teacher-directed lessons, he tells you, like, you have 10 minutes to do this exercise. But for some people who are slower uh, and not as advanced in math, it might take a bit long, a longer time. So like when he starts to get what the teacher's talking about, he's already on to the next uh, like thing we need to know. And in reverse, if you're like really good at math and you're he gives you ten minutes, but you're done in like eight, uh, you have like two minutes of just nothing. You get a brief introduction of what you're gonna learn. So if I feel like more confident on something, I would choose self-directed because I can go through the task like by myself or if I don't feel as confident as something, I like do teacher directed so I can get like help whenever I need for the subject. I cho chose to do teacher directed because I get my work done and if I do self directed it can be hard for me to not get distracted by my um, classmates. I chose to learn self directed because I already understand the topic that we're learning so I want to work on my own. Different people learn in different ways. It gives us a lot more freedom and choice and helps us find our strengths and weaknesses. 